Why did I just get nervous? I just got nervous. Hey, Silky. Happy Sunday. How are you? What are you doing today? Hey, Tiff. Hey, Kia. How are y'all? What are y'all up to today? Happy Sunday. Hey, Tiffany. Thank you. Just relaxing and working on a website. Ooh, hope you enjoyed your birthday. I did, y'all. It was all love. I had such a good birthday. Tiff says, hey, Kia, I saw you on King Ashley this morning. What is, what's King Ashley? Thank y'all for all the birthday wishes. I really appreciate it. Your girl felt the love. Yeah, we're ready to pop the bottle in a minute. Y'all know. So no note my eyebrows. I have no idea what kind of makeup look I want to do today. So if anybody has any suggestions, I'm very open. Usually I have time to like look on Instagram for some inspiration and some ideas, but I didn't have time to do that today. So I'm just at you, free with no ideas. <laughs> Y'all know the deal. Oh, is that like a um, a business live? A new business, Kia. Uh-oh. Okay, I see you put the little shush mouth, so I guess I can't ask any questions. You know, I want to know. Yes, victory is already yours, Kia, just like Tiff said. Yes, uh, I'm listening to you. We'll be popping in and out while I edit this video. Yes, I have to get back to this YouTube thing. Girl, yes, I'm glad you got your hard drive working, Tiffany, because I hope it's been good, like a positive thing for you having the hard drive. I hope it's not like too much trouble or anything because you need that hard drive, girl. Oh, King Ashley Ann is an Instagrammer that does business stuff. Okay, I'm gonna have to check her out. And Tiff, I'm so glad you're on Instagram, finally. I have to follow you from my main Instagram. I think I only follow you from my podcast. I gotta remember to do that after this. 
Oh my gosh, Periscope, RIP. <laughs> Periscope, oh my gosh, y'all. I got in trouble on Periscope, me and Mike, we got kicked off. We were being sexual and we got kicked off of Periscope. <laughs> They booted us off for like 30 days. We we were, y'all, yeah, I don't even want to get into it. You know what? <laughs> Let me move on. Let me pop the bottle. You know what? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes, Ikoya. We was on there. Girl. <laughs> <sighs> y'all let me have a drink and I'll um explain to y'all what happened while we got kicked off Periscope. <laughs> Drinks were involved, speaking of. I'm happy to be on Instagram too. I barely know how to do anything. Girl, yeah, you know, you'll get the hang of it. There ain't much to it. Yeah, we was being super freaky on Periscope. Uh oh. Doing something we weren't supposed to be doing. Woo! All right, y'all. It was a long time ago. <laughs> we were young and drunk. <laughs> we were on there. Um, I was pleasuring him. <laughs> We was just drunk and trying to have fun, and we did that. And I'm assuming somebody reported us because then we got booted off for like 30 days. Just a little innocent fun. A little interracial porn. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> you know, a little innocent. Let me get my drink too. Making porn scopes. I'm trying to edit, but this is interesting. I never knew what Periscope scope was. I thought it was really professional women. <laughs> that does sound crazy. Hey, Ebony. I was telling them back in the day why me and Mike got kicked off of Periscope. We were doing sexual activity and they kicked us off. Y'all, we didn't know any better. We were drinking, feeling each other. Decided to do a little instant porn. <laughs> you know. You know. Just trying to have a little fun. Spice up your life. Spice Girls. A little ebony and ivory. Ebony and Ivory moment. <laughs> Y'all know I'm an open person. I was very open that night. <laughs> I don't know who was watching. I was busy. He was holding the phone. I, don't, I couldn't see. <laughs> I was doing the work. <laughs> who was watching uh that's hilarious <laughs> well all right now not mad at it i'm shocked i got my drink uh, tiffany said apparently it was for interracial amateurs <laughs> i'm ready to start an only fans with hubs if my stimulus money okay open that only fans i'm really thinking about doing one for my feet Y'all, I was drunk that night on Periscope. We didn't know what we were doing. And then we tried to get back on the next day and realized we got kicked off. Hey, Stacy, Happy Sunday. Cheers. You cooking today, Stacy? That conversation was for Stacy. Stacy, I was telling them that me and Mike got kicked off the Periscope because I was trying to pleasure him. And we got kicked off because it's not a porn site. <laughs> Hey, Dej, why you came in here like this? No, ma'am. Well, yeah, I woke up the next morning, like, on my phone, like, okay, let me get back on Periscope. Ma'am, you have been kicked off. I think it was for, like, 30 days, and I just never went back on. 
somebody was being a hater and reported us. Like, why y'all don't let people just enjoy their, themselves? Why would you report that? I wasn't bothering nobody. Listen, who was it? Silky's the one that brought up Periscope. Blame Silky. That's not something I would do nowadays, guys. Exactly. Somebody who's not having fun in their own free time. Absolutely. A little hater. I would never do anything like that. Like report somebody for like doing freaky stuff on a website. If that's what you want to do, let the people do it. Who cares? It's not hurting you. Click off. You don't have to watch it. I'm confusion. And so why they felt like they had to, you know, they could have just clicked off and watched somebody else's uh, Periscope. You know, don't mind me. Maybe they were racist. <laughs> they don't like that interracial stuff. Oh, good question, Kia. She said, while we're on the subject, who has sex in a public place? I actually have not. Believe it or not, <laughs> I've been, I haven't had sex in a public place before. But I'll do it on Periscope for the world to see. And also, if you have had sex in a public place, where? Good question, Kia. Oh, you starting off juicy. Now, you know, I used to wait till we done with the first drink. But Kia said, you know what? Let's get right into it. And that's what I'm talking about. Trump fans reported. Absolutely, Tiffany. Little haters. Trump Trump supporters before they knew who they were. That's who they turned out to be. In an ice cream truck, Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany says she had sex in an ice cream truck. I will take a drink to that. In the car at the park, says Deja. JC Penny dressing room, Kia. Oh, okay, y'all. Oh, y'all really getting down. Y'all, I don't know what palette to use. I don't know what look I'm gonna do. I am out here just wanna, but let me turn my camera on real quick. Gotta get up and do it now because it won't connect to my phone anymore. Don't know why. Got me out here struggling. Hotel parking lot. So you can go in the room. Field. Okay, Kia is just doling them out. Who's freaky now? Kia. Kia. Yeah, what do I want to do? Let me um honey glaze, honey baked pork chops. Ooh, roasted garlic, red potatoes, grilled corn on the cob. Yes, ma'am. My brother just brought me my birthday plate. He made me Sunday dinner as oxtails, macaroni and cheese, I think rice and cornbread with some brownies. But I'm also cooking um, country style ribs in the crock pot. That's for my meal prep for the week. Tiffany said, Lord, I know it's Sunday, but in front of a graveyard while the door was open and a pedestrian passed by. Oh, girl. Verizon Park. <laughs> Kia, you love some parking lots. Kia, our parking lot princess. Roger's mom, yes, I did it in a couple of places. Shed, pool, parking garage. It's just a couple of places. <laughs> Since my fiance was getting it all the way in, <laughs> the guy was just shocked. I bet he was. He like, really, y'all, at the graveyard? Kia said the mall, too. Kia. I think I want to use this bronze gold palette by Morphe, I think. 
do a little brown fall type of a, I don't know. Parking lot at the job, Deja, not the job. <laughs> Tiffany said it was yours, mom. She was scared someone was going to give us a Jesus bop. <laughs> I'm dead. Ooh, carrot cake and a pumpkin cheesecake. Listen, I know your family is very happy. You always cook the best food. <laughs> Not the Jesus box. Deja, what are you doing today? Keith just said you were hanging out with Eric again. I'm going to mom's when I'm done with this. I think I want to go to the mall and get my Sephora gift since she offered to buy me stuff, something from Sephora. Y'all, I'm actually stuck. I don't really know what I want from Sephora. I know I need a new beauty blender, but I need something else too. My wish list really wasn't giving me nothing. So I don't really know what I want to grab from Sephora, but I think I want to go to the mall today. I know. I want a plate too. Stacy is in the kitchen, honey. Oh, yes. I am definitely ready for Potomac tonight. Y'all, I hope everybody is caught up on the Housewives of Potomac. I'm also filming the podcast later tonight. Well, yeah, late, late night, like around 11 to midnight, I should be filming the podcast. So it'll be up for y'all tomorrow morning. We didn't hang yesterday, so I'm about to make steaks, potatoes, and broccoli and have mimosas. Oh, oh, I might come over there at your house. I might swing through, not for a plate, but just to hang out. Yes, Kia said I'm really invested in Potomac World, the podcast that is. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yes, Potomac is giving us the drama. The taste would be stale by then. <laughs> Are you going live on your channel? No, I'm not going live because I don't have a guest. So I only do the live when I have a guest. I'm caught up because of the podcast. I appreciate y'all. All right, Deja, I come over there. Why not? All right, y'all, let's go in with this palette. Look how pretty this palette is. It's perfect for fall. And I hate what I don't know what I'm doing, but I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And of course, this look will be up on my channel tomorrow. Y'all know. So I don't know if I asked this before, but um, is anybody going to watch Salt Lake City? Y'all know I am, but. Or any of y'all. Potomac tonight should be good. I saw um, Candace posted something on her Instagram today. Is some article she did with People Magazine saying that she also doesn't believe Monique is really sorry, which I agree with. And the thing about it is, I know how Monique is saying she blacked out. She blacked out. But she had a lot of words to say during that blackout. Mm. Like, I'll kill her, da 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 Like, how are you blacked out? You're very, you're conscious enough to say all this. Yes, yeah, Salt Lake City is a new season coming up. It's a new franchise. So it's going to be the first season for Salt Lake City. Yes, B Stokes was um, B Stokes was on my was my last guest for the podcast. And we talked about Potomac. And then we briefly talked about Salt Lake City, how the one girl had to marry her step granddaddy to keep the family in the business so she's married to her grandfather yes kia you do need to watch insecure just watch the first episode you'll be hooked by then hbo 30 minute episodes you won't regret that either yeah there's five seasons of potomac um if you start it depends on like do you binge watch 
I don't know if I don't know if um, most of those housewives are Mormon, but I, there is a lot of religion to the season. The preview is out. I'm gonna post it on my podcast page later today, so y'all can catch the, watch the preview. Um, and I think they just released an extended trailer the other day, which I actually have not seen yet. So, you know what? I was gonna cut the crease, and I just changed my mind and do something a little bit more simple. I just want to know, like, so you married to your granddaddy? Like, what are y'all having sex? What's the relationship like? Tip, I don't know if there was any Mormons in here. <laughs> yes, you will love Insecure Kia. Like, how many times have we been telling you on here? It's been weeks now. You still haven't watched. Why aren't you listening to us? Kia says it's possible I blacked out too. It's different than an alcoholic blackout. I can't explain. The principal told me some crazy things I said when I used to get in the fights. Really? Okay, I do believe that, but I don't believe Monique blacked out. I don't. I think she was very aware. I think she was very aware. Because even after they pulled her off of Candace, she was still trying to get back at her. Like, I understand. Okay, so even if you did black out, so now that you're here and you've come to, you still are trying to fight her? So she was, she knew what was going on. She knew. Yeah, I want to know, like, what's the relationship? Who forced her to marry the great granddaddy to keep the business in the family? Was it like in his name? And she I have so many questions. I cannot wait to watch Salt Lake City. Y'all, it's going to be so good. I hope there's one black ish person on there. She looks black adjacent. I don't really know what she really is, but I'm going to get into it. I want to see who she is. And that's the one that married the granddaddy. Like, girl, why you had to be, why did that have to be you? Yes, yeah, she said a lot of negative things, Monique, but Candace hasn't taken any accountability. I agree. Candace definitely um, antagonized her very much. Like everybody said, again, remind everybody of Kenya and Portia. It just, it just drives you to want to hit somebody. Monique was aware. I seen some clips. I think she was aware too. Um, when you're past in rage, you can say some nasty things. Yeah. There is an underlying dislike. Yes. Yeah, she doesn't like, um, yeah, something she's some sort of black Tiffany. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely some underlying dislike. She just doesn't. It's about that whole Cherie situation. And Monique just won't let it go. As much as above it she tries to be, she's very much stuck and she cannot get past the whole Candace and Cherise thing. And she's also putting a lot of the blame on the trainer rumors on Candace when it's really Giselle. So that's like, I can't wait to see the reunion because she watched the season back and realized, wait, Candace didn't say not one thing about the trainer. And you've been hating on her all this season because of that. Well, and the Cherie situation, but you know. You want to try like a halo eye today. Candace said Monique tried to fight me. No, baby, she fought you. Yeah, she got beat up. Um, ain't no much money. Yes. How much money was it? I'm not marrying my granddaddy, though. No. Step granddaddy. It's still nasty. I don't really watch TV. Only when I, only when I eat, <laughs> I'll do better. Let's not forget Giselle and Robin. Who, okay. Oh, Stacy. Okay, so you said this in my comments. You said, um, Karen said, pay close attention to the fight because you said that Giselle pushed Candace. I tried to watch it. I got to go back and put it like in slow motion because I didn't see that. But you said you saw it, right? Giselle pushed Candace like into the fight. Giselle's a mess, but Candace knew about the messy situation. I think that's why Monique was mad. Yeah, but it's like she wasn't the one saying anything. It's Giselle. She just doesn't like Candace. And it all stems from last season. Remember, she said she was going to fight her. I'll drag you pregnant at all. She's been trying to fight Candace for a year now. And she just finally got her hands on her. 
nudged her and then jumped back real quick. Okay, I gotta go back and watch that. So much confusion and like tussling. I tried to watch, but I need to like watch it in slow mo. Ooh, my lips is dry. Yeah, I gotta go back and watch that. Um, uh, Elk, you'll have a question. I saw the funniest TikTok clip. I'll send it to you. Giselle walked out of Monique's house and Monique was so nonchalant. What was that scene about? Okay, yeah, send it to me. Cause I, yeah, I can't think of that what that scene would be. If you had to be friends with one of the housewives from any season, any location, who would you pick as a bestie and why? Portia, because she's, first of all, Portia is very funny. She likes to have fun. She likes to turn up and drink and have a good time. She's not a negative person. Portia. If we talk about Potomac specifically, Karen. A drunk Karen is my favorite Karen. Portia has so many layers to her. I would love to hang out with Portia. If we're going to go through the franchises, New York, I would have to say current season, Sonia or Leah. Past seasons, Bethany. I love me some B. Jersey. I want to hang out with Melissa Gorga and maybe Marge. Oh, and Jennifer, I like her too. Um, let's see, Beverly Hills. Ugh, I don't want to hang out with none of them. I guess Garcelle. I guess, and that's barely. Listen, I like Garcelle, but she seemed kind of boring. Maybe Sutton. Definitely not Erica Jane. She puts on too much. Oh, no, Dorit. I'll hang out with Dorit from Beverly Hills. Um, Orange County. None of them bitches. That's hella Trump. Trumpian over there. Um, ew. I don't know if I want to hang with anybody from OC Child. I'll pass. I'll pass. Dallas D. I want to hang out with Deandra. Hey, Jay. Okay, Tiss says, I honestly didn't like Portia in the first season. Yet nobody liked Portia in the beginning, but she has really come around. Yeah, she's definitely evolved. Kia says, since I only watched uh, real, uh since I've only watched Atlanta, definitely Portia. She seems so fun. I agree. Stacy says, Teresa, really, Stacy? Oh, I can't stand Teresa. I cannot stand Teresa. <sighs> Stacy. Tiffany said, I didn't really like her husband either, so that might have affected how I first saw Portia. Oh, yeah. He was terrible. Everybody's saying hey to Jay. Beverly Hills, Kyle. Stacey, we are, we are not getting along. We are not gelling. I can't stand Kyle. And, okay, Candy. Atlanta Candy. I would too, but you said Tamara. No. I love me some Nene back in the day. Me too. Me too. Me too. I love Nene. She was so different when she first came on. There was nobody like Nene. Did y'all see that um, thing that live she did where she said Andy? She put Andy all to get all the way together. She said Andy, no one would, no one knew you until you knew me. She was getting sassy with Andy. I was like, what's going on? Why is Nene so mad at Andy? Does anybody know? Stacy, you like all the housewives I don't like. I can't believe it. It's up for Candy, but I don't want to hang with Candy. She don't drink. I'm not, I don't have nothing against people that don't drink, but I like to have a good time. Sips drink. But Candy, I really do like Candy on the show, though. Cordell, oh my God. Cordell. 
she didn't want to be married to that man. That was like, I felt like she wasn't being herself in that marriage. She seemed like she was trying to be what he wanted her to be. And you could definitely tell because once they got divorced, Portia came out, honey, and we loved her. You think because Andy didn't sign her up again? She said Andy was racist. She did? She didn't call, she called Andy a racist. I can't believe it. She knows Andy is not racist. Well, okay, listen. Nene was becoming too big for her britches. She became a totally different person. I don't know who this new Nene is. I do not like her. And I just, mm -mm. She's doing too much. She was becoming unfun, depressing, mean, angry. Like, nobody wants to be around somebody like that and really just thinking she could do whatever she wanted. And it's like, no, you can't. You also have to participate on these cast like trips and stuff and be a participant. She wasn't coming to some things and just, even when she came, just being a disaster, which I'm sure that's what happened to Dorinda too. Everybody was just getting sick of working with such a terrible negative person. So I have, I have a feeling that has a lot to do with why Dorinda is gone and probably Nene. They just become so toxic that people don't want to work with them. You have to realize it's a show, like they're co-workers. You have to work with these people. And if they're behaving like this, nobody wants to work with somebody like that. All right, so end of that video, girl. Get the content, honey. She's really sexual, though. Who remembers all the candy? Oh, yeah. And, the yeah, she has her um, candy coat at night, and she has her own line of sex toys. I think we talked about that on the last live, if it had anybody tried her sex toys. Candy is a very sexual woman. Nene said you still can't. Candy did was talk about sex, and Nene said you still can't find a man. <laughs> Nini went through some things that became less fun. Yes, and more demanding negative over time. She felt like they always wanted to make her the villain. Yes, yes, I remember the therapy session. Here's the thing, nobody can make you the villain unless you do villain things and you acting like a villain. Like, come on. She was acting like a villain. It's like if you outgrow a situation, then just leave gracefully. People will stay one foot, one foot in and one foot out. But if you're not feeling it, everyone can tell. Absolutely. Nini is a hot mess. <laughs> yes. Um, I do not I did not like Sheree at first, but her rude ass grew on me over time. Me too. I like Sheree. Unfortunately, she became like too involved in like trying to push the drama forward. And it became very obvious that she was just trying to do things for the show and not really being her authentic, messy Sheree self. She was going like above and beyond to be messy. And it's just like, okay, you're trying way too hard to get this peach back. You got to go, sis. I did like Sheree though, joggers. <laughs> joggers. <laughs> hey, Coco girl, how are you? What are you doing today? Hold on, let me cheers you. I'm trying to get this halo eye down. Y'all know I cannot do halo eyes. Silky says she's not a fan of Sheree. I like Sheree. Who gonna check me, boo? Oh, what you eating? Where we finna eat at? Where we about to eat at?
Kim, Henny Kim. What's up, Henny Kim? Happy Sunday. What are you doing today? Cheers. Kia says she did not like Sheree at first. The first few seasons, she was just fake, fake, fake. Then when she came back, she was more relaxed and fun, but messy. She was only loyal to Kim. <laughs> Scissor sisters. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Kim, I'm glad you're on here. So my mom told me I can get whatever I wanted out of Sephora for my birthday. And I don't know what I want. So Kim, give me some suggestions. I was waiting on you at the door. I need suggestions on what to get from Sephora. I went through my wish list and there's really nothing on there that's like I need or I really want. I need to actually go clean up my wish list as a matter of fact. My dad made some soup. Just gonna taste a little bit. Oh, nothing vegan. <laughs> Kim Bowig. Bowig. Kim's and Nini's friendship was so nice the first season, but even by the end of the first season, it was already falling apart, you know? But um, that first season of them two together was just, it was so cute. Auntie Pat's new palette. Oh, I know. I feel bad making my mom pay for that, though. Yeah, I, I do. I, I don't want to. She might clutch her pearls. She might clutch her pearls at the price of that palette. I don't, I don't, I feel guilty. I do. I don't know why. I just, I can't bring myself. She don't be like, it's how much? <laughs> I can just hear my mom now being like, oh, you would let me buy, you would let me pay for this. She or she knows her daughter. I thought I was getting tea. Y'all, I don't know. Oh, my mom gonna be like, what? This ain't what I meant, sweetie. I feel guilty. Deja, you still in here? Should I do it? She might be tending to her friend. Deja got company, y'all. I'm gonna go over there and be nosy after this live. Throughout their season, Sheree was only ever loyal to Kim. I remember they were in Africa. She called Kim to tell her what Kenny said. Yes, she did. Excuse me. I remember that too. Okay, Deja. So I asked Kim what should I get from Sephora because, you know, Mama said I can get something from Sephora. She said I should get the um, Pat McGrath palette. Deja, what do you think? Should I have mama buy me that palette? I just, I can't. I feel guilty making her buy me a hundred and what is it? $30 palette. Hey, Miss Juicy Reviews. Cheers. Happy Sunday. What are you doing today? That Africa season was crazy because isn't that the same um one where Sheree, Sheree and who was it? Marlo got that fight with his company. Isn't that that same season where they weren't saying any words? They were just fighting and like mocking each other or whatever they were trying to do. Oh my gosh. Oh, why y'all making me do this to my mama? I feel guilty. I mean, I'm going to say, I'm going to. Uh, I'll, I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up. <laughs> I'll bring it up, man. Yes, you remember that <laughs> that fight? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's that same. That's the Africa season. That fight was so funny. The joggers. 
Spring, summer. Yeah, like more like spring, summer, November. I was like, Sheree, sis. <laughs> what is it? African alien. <laughs> Candy is a big old freak. Kim was dating Big Papa for what? The first four seasons? The first spring, summer, winter. <laughs> Kim is a whole different person. That's not the Kim we knew. Fix that body. Fix your face. That was a great, you know what? And I want to go back and watch that season. Oh, I found out who Big Papa was. You can just Google it. He was actually on an episode of Cribs, of MTV Cribs, with his actual family. Yeah, y'all can um, Google it. It shows his face and everything, his family, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, he had a whole last family out here. And they were on an episode of MTV Cribs. She never wanted to say his name because he was married. Close your legs to married men. She had her legs open for married men. Okay, Big Papa was out here doing the most. Yes, a whole episode of Cribs with the family. I said, ain't this bottom man? Oh, I gotta restart my camera. It's out here acting like nothing to see here, folks. <laughs> Big Papa was tricky, tricky. I need single Big Papa. Listen, don't we all? The way he was just buying things, not caring about the price tag. He didn't care, y'all. Okay, now we got some peeps in here. Let's ask some freaky questions. Maybe his wife knew. Oh, if he's Arabian, then maybe that's allowed. Maybe, because I believe they're still married. All the information is on, um, excuse me, it's on like this Google page. Um. Have you ever sent any nude pictures? Yes. Yes, I have. I had a whole online nude relationship with this man from England. <laughs> All we did was send each other naked pictures back and forth. Ciao. I just like talking to him on the phone because of his accent. He would talk to me, send me dirty pictures. Send me, I want to see you. I want to see you. I was like, okay. Hey, Lee. Happy Sunday. You come out of the bushes for the freaky questions? Yeah, I sent them nude to that band. I don't know it's so dark in here. I don't forgot what color I want it to on the palette. One of these on the end, I think. He was about to be on 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> he did. I want to see you. I was like, all right. Yes, sir. I was about to be on 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> Girl, that accent was something crazy. I was like, okay. <laughs> All right. He probably still has the pictures. I'm sure. 
It was a long time ago, though, obviously, but it was like maybe 10 years ago. That man could ask me for anything in that accent. Not 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> my face is never in the pics. No, my face wasn't in the photos. I used to get naked pictures from strangers on Tango all the time. I had to delete the app. Never my face. You and me both after y'all said how these men were sending money to these catfish. Okay. Hey, Naturally Corporate. Cheers. Happy Sunday. Yeah, never send your face. Just a little innocent fun. He never sent his face either. But we did like face chat. A couple of times, but it was just like regular talking. I don't put my face even when I'm sitting in the hubby. <laughs> you said, uh -uh, I don't trust you either. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> you said you never know. <laughs> That's real, though. You're all crazy. We use an old phone that we never connect to the internet anymore. Oh yeah, I remember you talking about that on one of your lives, which is actually a really good idea. Speaking of, Tiff, are you coming back with more lives? You and your man, because I love them. I would like to see you guys and chat with you guys. Anyone produced a film? Well, I told, I was telling them earlier, I did. We got a little freaky on live back in the day on Periscope, but we got kicked off. I guess you consider that a film. It was live. People saw it. Whoever caught that live flick, live action. But I have never made like an actual movie. We might really have to. I honestly miss YouTube. It was the editing and filming that really got me worn out. Our lives weren't too bad. Yeah, the lives were actually fun. The lives are actually a lot easier too. Like you said, you don't have to edit anything and it's just once you're done, you're done. You should do that. Like just do, just do lives. Lives only. And so you know I'd be there.
Y'all, this look ain't really doing too much for me. I don't know if I'm gonna post this. Let me finish the rest of my face first. Ain't really doing it for me today. I'm not feeling it. I'm just not good at halo eyes. I don't understand. I'm gonna do one um off of live next week where I cut the crease because I feel like if I cut the crease, it might look a little bit better, but this just ain't working for me, sis. I'm not pleased. I really can't believe y'all gonna have me make my mama buy me this Pat McGrath palette. Kim, and I'm blaming you. I'm gonna say Kim. Kim said. Yes, we miss her lives. Thank you, and yes, we make films here and there just on the phone though. Kim said they get down over there. Thank you, Tiffany. It's just something I don't like about it, y'all. I ain't really feeling it. It's not really giving it to me. Okay, next question. Have you ever done a walk of shame? Yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> uh Not a lot, definitely um, under five. I've done that walk of shame for sure. Kia says, yes, my contact's getting dry as hell. Of course, in college, says Kim. Lee said, yes, a few. I know that's right. Yeah, I've done not a lot. I would definitely say like under five. I'm about to show this. Hey, Magical Blackness Girl. Hey, now. Cheers. Happy Sunday. What are you doing? I just asked a question to the chat and it was, have you ever done the walk of shame? Tiffany said, it's not a walk of shame if you don't feel shameful, period sis, but I felt the shame, okay? <laughs> I felt the shame in those instances. I shouldn't have been giving them the cat. They didn't deserve it, child. They didn't deserve it. Making a fresh mimosa, y'all. Starting to celebrate my son's 16th. Oh, happy birthday to him. Oh, see, Stacy, you didn't say devil eggs before. You didn't say devil eggs before. Oh, Stacy, have you ever done a walk of shame? I feel like you have. You freaky. Not that you have to be freaky to do a walk of shame, but you know. Tell your son happy birthday. When is his birthday? All these October babies. That's right. Stacey, I'm coming to see you on a Sunday for my plate. Ooh, I made that way too high. I'm just, oh my God. This is not a good makeup day. I ain't really feeling it, y'all. I ain't really feeling it. Excuse me. If y'all don't see this look up tomorrow, y'all know I didn't like it, okay? It'll probably be a clip of the podcast instead because I ain't got time.
these kids begged me I wasn't playing it. Tiff, the original Jaclyn Hill palette is cool if you like Morphe. Oh yeah, did somebody ask for some suggestions for palettes? Yeah, I really like the original Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. It is really nice. Mm -mm. I only done one walk of shame, but it wasn't a shame. My husband, then boyfriend, we walked out and his friends and my bestie hurt the whole thing. <laughs> Yikes. I've had that situation too when Mike used to have roommates when he used to live um, with a few other people, they would hear, we would hear each other having sex. Like we would hear the other people and then they would hear us. I definitely strutted the walk of shame. <laughs> Yes. Okay. All right, magical. We all want a plate. Give me a few eggs. I'm using this Pat McGrath fetish mascara that I really like. I didn't want to like this expensive ass mascara, but I do. If anybody has enough of points available on Sephora, you can get this mascara with your Sephora points is what I did. I'm actually getting low on my Sephora points because for once in my life, they're actually using them for, you can use it for money off your order. Yes, I'm using the foundation today. Jay, I have it right here. I really, really like it. Kiss said I was looking up now. I want a one and done and then get me a brush or two. <sighs> Yeah, if you're trying to find a palette that's just going to take care of everything you need, I think that Jaclyn Hell palette is really nice. It covers everything. Um, yeah. That would be a good one, and it's affordable. Kia, Kim said, and that's exactly how I'm going to say this to my mama. My Kim said that I need to get, I'm going to get, I think I'm going to get a Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. I feel very guilty because it's expensive, but like Deja said, my mom told me I can get whatever I want. So I guess I'm going to get the palette. I don't know. I feel like sometimes when stuff is like over $50, I don't want people to buy it for me. I just buy it for myself. But she did say, she did say. Don't let this lady cuss me out in Sephora. I'm going to be so embarrassed. Like a child. But you said. I'm going to say it was suggested to me. I didn't even think. I wasn't even thinking about it. Kim said. Kim. It's like 130 something dollars. I think Silky actually just bought it. That Pat McGrath palette. Because she didn't mean it. She wouldn't have said it. Listen, she didn't say she didn't say a price limit. I will, I will give y'all that. It's just like in my heart and my soul. I personally just feel guilty about like doing that to my mom. Oh, and let me show y'all what Mike got me for my birthday. Well, first of all, yesterday we went to um this place called Abby and Ruby. It's like um it's in Tampa and it's a boozy ice cream place. So um, all the ice cream has alcohol in it. It's a 21 and up ice cream shop. Yeah, when I tell you it was so good and it's strong as hell. I think at least um, a small ice cream is equivalent to it's 4.9% alcohol. So it's like a beer. I had um, strawberries and rosé. And then I also had... Um, passion fruit margarita while I was there. And then to bring home, I had, I got this key lime one that has a, a gin in it, vodka or gin. And then I got this Merlot white chocolate. And then I also got, what's the other one I got? Oh, Negroni. So it's like an orange sherbet. I can't make up, I, I can't do makeup well enough to ever justify a palette like that, but you know what to do with it. Yeah, I have been eyeing the palette for a while. Actually, I've been waiting for a sale. So, my mama gonna just have to buy it for me. I really loved the palette collection video you did. I watched it last week. Oh, thank you. 
Yeah, I have two palette collection videos up on my channel right now. I have one of all of my palettes, which came to a total of 58. And then I did my top 10 palettes, which went up last week. It was so good, Tiffany. I want to open a boozy boba shop. <gasps> I loved it. I, we even brought some home and then his parents are coming in a couple of weeks and we sent them the website. And so now they're very excited to go try it. And that's the thing. You can taste the alcohol in it. Like shit is strong. You inspired me to find one, but it won't be nearly as, oh, you're going to film one and nearly be long as yours. It might be two minutes. Is that 45? <laughs> I know when I first looked at the time of my make of the video, it was like 41 minutes. And I was like, dang, are people really going to sit here for 41 minutes? But I went through 50 plus palettes in 40 minutes. That's less than a minute per palette talking about it. So I feel like I did a pretty good job of showing off the palettes and trying to get through them as quickly as I could. I was trying not to talk too much about them. I just kind of show the palettes, but I know people want to hear why I bought them and why I like them. So I did that. Tiffany, I would suggest if you haven't already, watch my top 10 and there's a bunch of um beginner friendly palettes in there but yeah i would say the morphe J um the morphe jacqueline hill is a really good one to start off with especially if you just want one palette that covers just about everything that would be the palette to do the quality is good it's highly pigmented it performs really well just a really nice palette or morphe james charles but i think the jaclyn hill one just has better prettier shades like a lot more shimmers and stuff in there for you <laughs> yes kim film that collection kim please oh yeah i definitely want to see yours yeah i would um if y'all listen YouTuber T, I would suggest all of y'all film your palette collection. Mine is almost at 1,300 views. It's worth the views. Get the views, sis. <laughs> no, Kia, I definitely am not the first person to film a palette collection, so don't name it after me, girl. Don't have them people coming after me. I don't know how people get. Oh, I love these lashes. Let me tell y'all something about these motherfucking lashes. Keeping it real with Kai. Hi. You should do a makeup tutorial for beginners. You got it. I have an everyday makeup video up already, but I'll do a new one where I actually do like an eyeshadow look. A beginner friendly eyeshadow look. I'll do that for you. I can actually do that this week. <laughs> I might film it today when the Henny wears off uh, on cam. How, wh when did you start drinking Henny? Are you still drinking it today or is that left over from yesterday? You hung over? I told Kim yesterday, I want to meet Henny Kim. Okay, period. Thank you. I will post a video. You will have, I'll, it'll be up on Friday. So look out for that on Friday. To be honest, this look right here is kind of beginner friendly. If I like the way I look afterwards, I'll post this video tomorrow. Otherwise, y'all saw it here and here only. Because baby, I'm on the fence, y'all. I'm on the fence about it. This is what happens when I don't, like, have something in mind already, and I just be getting on here trying to freestyle. Like, <laughs> let me tell y'all. 
We don't always work out like that. I had to order me some more of these lashes. These are from AliExpress. Y'all know I go on and on and on about these lashes. They are $2 a piece, a pair. And they are like some of my favorite, favorite lashes. You got it, Kai. Thanks if I started yesterday, my hubby been throwing up. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not drinking today. I've done enough. Kim. I know I'm surprised. Like I drank Friday. Yesterday. I don't really count yesterday because we only had the ice cream. And then I did come home and I had a little shot of Douce. You know, a shot of two of Douce. But I was straight. I was hella sober. So and then I'm I don't even know if I'm drinking. Oh, yes, I'm well, I'm drinking right now. And then I'm gonna go to Deja's house and probably have a drink or two over there. And I don't know if I'm gonna go to the mall today or tomorrow. I don't know. Has anyone tried magnetic lashes? No, I don't like, I don't, I don't trust that kind of stuff, y'all. I might give them a shot though. Let me restart my camera again. I really gotta fix my phone. Y'all, I don't know what's wrong with my camera. They just decided to stop connecting to my phone for whatever reason. Now I have to get up every time. Has anyone tried magnetic lashes? I'm curious to know also, I have not. All right, so like I said, the foundation I'm using is the Pat McGrath foundation. I'm in the shade medium deep 26. And this is my exact shade. The thought of magnets near my eye kind of scares me, but I was curious. I never tried them, but I get why they made some people just can't put on lashes yeah i agree they seem to look very easy excuse me i don't know i'm just used to traditional lashes i might try them for a video though Henny Kim. Oh, she only comes out on special occasions. I was like, me and Kim, my birthdays are so close together. I'm not surprised. Not at all. Henny Kim. <laughs> I had so much fun on my birthday. We started off, we went to Mr. and Mrs. Crab, little crab seafood boil spot over here by us. They just put one over here closer to where we live because the only other one is like in St. Pete. So it's like 30, 40 minute drive, but there's one right up the street now. So we took my mom because she had never been. And also I love crabs and I wanted crabs for my birthday. So we started off there. Me and Deja had some drink called Pirate's Booty, which was just like a fruity mixed rum type of a vibe, but it was very good, very strong. My mom had Hennessy lemonade, and then we had a shot of Patron. So that's where it all started off. And then my mama wanted me to go to her house because she got some tequila from Sam's Club that was so, supposed to be super strong, and it was only $20, and it was great. So I got to go to Sam's Club and get a bottle of that tequila because it was big. It was a huge bottle. And I filmed everything for my birthday. I have a birthday vlog up on Wednesday. Hey, trust to impress. Trust to impress. How are you, girl? Cheers. Happy Sunday. What are you doing today? So then we had, yeah, Hennessy lemonade. She said it was really good. I don't really drink Hennessy. I really don't drink brown liquor, but um, my brother bought me a bottle of Douce for my birthday. So I've been kind of sipping on that. I'm a vodka tequila girl. But honestly, I'll drink whatever you give me. But, <laughs> you know, if you're asking me what I prefer. The name of the tequila, Ebony, you know, let me text my mom right now. It was a big old bottle. And it was only $20 from Sam's Club. So then I went to my mom's house. 
So we had a few of that, few shots of that tequila over there. Then, like I said, my brother bought the bottle of Duce, so he brought that. So then we started drinking that. And then, you know, my other friend bought me some medicated nerds ropes, if y'all know what that is. So I had a few pieces of that, you know. <laughs> and then we also had the some Vizzies, the... um. It's like a, it's almost like a, it's almost like a white claw, but it actually has like more juice in it. So you can actually taste like, it's not, doesn't taste just like a sparkling water. <laughs> I will bring him back on live. He actually just stopped by earlier and dropped off my plate. Y'all, he made me some oxtails. Oh, I cannot wait to eat those oxtails. I'm using the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 13. My shade in NARS is Macau. Oh, and I actually have the new NARS foundation to try out. I'm going to film that. That video will be up on Friday in that beginner makeup tutorial video. I want to help and get that up because it's still pretty new. So I want to get the views, honey. But I'm in the shade Macau. Yeah, so then we were drinking the Vizzies. Oh, I was lit. And I took a hangover pill, so I woke up the next morning feeling great. <laughs> it's called a party smart pill. I bought them from Sprouts. They just help you not to get hungover. You know, when you get up in age, you need a little help, all right? And I'm watering BCs in the world, especially when you mix drinks like that, so... It was a good day, just surrounded by family and friends. It felt really nice. That's really all I like to do on my birthday. I'm not a club person. I don't go partying. I don't go to the clubs. I'm, I don't like a lot of people around me. I can't breathe. So um, I prefer to just keep it very, you know, low key. Just give me a good plate and a little bit to drink and I'm a happy camper. NARS Soft Matte is bomb. Oh, you like it, Jay? Yeah, I got it. I got a little sample one. I hope this is enough to do a video. This should be enough to do a video. Y'all know I buy samples at first. I got this little tiny. <laughs> so I'm going to do a video on that. I've been holding on. I had it for like a month or however long it's been out. If I like it, I'll get the full size, but I need to test stuff out first. And now Sephora doesn't have testers, so that's the only way to really test stuff out. LQ is ready to get current. I had to leave. Yeah, Deja left. She left. I introduced Deja to Love Island. She started watching Love Island, the OG, the UK version. You got to watch the UK Love Island. I don't, the a Love Island USA, no ma'am. It's fine, but don't start there. So I introduced Deja to Love Island. So, you know, it was a successful birthday. <laughs> I'm also using the Pat McGrath setting powder and I'm in the shade, me or I got the shade medium three. Okay, it's a tiny little, a tiny little sample. Girl, they gave me enough to what, do two beats? They said, nah, sis, you got about a full size. <laughs> They gave me enough for two beats. Y'all, this setting powder is everything. If anybody was on the fence, I'm using the wrong thing. If anybody was on the fence about getting that um, setting powder, I highly recommend it. I'm having a giveaway. Okay, y'all go to Kia's um, channel. She's having a giveaway. This was for your um, subscribers, right, Kia? Your giveaway? I'm going to put your channel after this bit live goes off. I'm going to put your video in the description box. So y'all, if y'all don't already know, go to Kia's channel to enter her giveaway. I'm not going to enter the giveaway. I feel like y'all, whatever it is, it should go to somebody else more deserving, but I will be in the comments. All right. Now this setting powder is white. Let me go ahead and put this on the rest of my face.
Deja was like nine o'clock. It was not even late, so don't even try me. Y'all in a Kia's giveaway. Maybe this set of powders. Everything. You can't tell me it ain't beat. Mm. What? Posted the video, but not the picture, and I'll post it this week. Okay. Oh, thank you, girl. Thanks to Miss Pat McGrath. She got the scan on lock. Oh, excuse me. Y'all, the champagne got me burping. I don't want to enter, Kia. I feel like other, it, this should go to like other people. You know what I mean? I don't like entering giveaways unless it's something I really like don't have and really, really want. Otherwise, I feel like it should go to other people that could do more stuff with the gifts. Kim. Kim. You need to set in powder handy. It's everything. It's everything. This is a LA Girl pencil in the shade Lasting Brown. This is my fall eyeliner. <sighs> I hate doing stuff in my eyes when I have on contacts. Yeah, that's not cute. And it's not comfortable. Thank you, Stacy. You better post this tutorial. Uh, Kia. All right. I'm on the I'll see. Let me I'm still not done. Okay. I'm still. Oh, y'all making good time too. I want to be off of here by four. It's 318. I'm almost done. Look at me. Look at me. Yes. Working against the clock. Kim, you would love that um, setting powder and the foundation, to be honest. All right, y'all, I'm going to ask another question. Y'all thought I forgot? It's a sale on her. Who Who's having a sale? No, Kim, you're the bad influence. You're the one that's about to make me make my mom spend a hundred and whatever, however many dollars, thirty dollars, a hundred and however many dollars on this palette. This is you. I'm the bad influence. Got a little bit too much bottom mascara, but that's okay. Thank you, Tiffany. Um, I don't know if Ebony is still here, but the name of the tequila is Members Mark Silver Tequila, 100% agave. So Members Mark, I think it's the Sam's Club brand. We talked it for each other. <laughs> oh, Kim, I did not end up getting anything from the Juvia's Place sale. I didn't get anything. I don't need it. I should, You know what? I should have brought it, though, for a giveaway. Damn it. I wasn't thinking. But I'm going to do my Sephora Pro Face Palette in Deep. I brought this out again recently and I cannot stop using it. Ooh. Tiffany says she's going live on Friday. Okay. Okay. I'll be there. Your live was so good. 
I still can't believe that was your first live. I can't believe it. You did so good. Girl, the swatches. I think I might wear French toast today. I'm kind of feeling it. Yes, girl, I went to my mom's house and she was just over there burning bourbon, please. I was like, okay, mom, burning the bourbon, please. I didn't even know she ordered anything from you. And then she had a complimentary wax melt. So nice. Such a good live. Oh, I asked the question already. Did you see my question? I hope you did because I already forgot what it was. I already forgot what I asked you. <laughs> but I, I, I submitted a question. Y'all, when the bronzer comes on, I come alive, okay? I love to bronze. I love it. They just said I need like five more bourbon, please, because it quickly became my favorite and it's almost completely burned out. My bourbon, please, is gone. Like you said, Tiffany, for some reason, men love that one. My boyfriend loves bourbon, please. He loves bourbon, please, so I might buy another one. Oh, I might order a couple because he wants one and then I want another one for myself. So I might get one for him. I might get one for his parents too. I think his dad would like that kind of stuff. Oh, Pat McGrath. What? Look at Molly. Talking about bad influences. Molly got people out here trying to shop. She said there's a sale on Pat McGrath. Well, you know what, if that palette is on sale, I might just have my mom buy it from the website then. Okay, honey, that is too much bronzer on the nose, baby. I look like a fool. I'm gonna fix this. Oh my God. Lord, help me. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Ooh, two new cents dropping tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Kim, Deja, clearly I'm asleep. Let me wake my ass. Yeah, Kim, get you some bourbon, please. Get you some bourbon, please. Listen, I'm not even a sweet scent person, but... I'm here for bourbon, please. I haven't burned pumpkin yet. I actually have it sitting on a table here. I might burn it tonight while I'm working. This blush in here, Premier, y'all. This blush right here. I love it. Take my time. You said they'll be hearing from a girl. Listen, Curlbox owes me a box. I already wrote them. I did. I emailed them. I sure did. I said, hold on. I paid for August. I paid for September. I only got a September box. Where's my August box? No, ma'am. Either that or y'all better send me $20. I don't play about stuff like that. They think they can get over on you just because it's $20. I'm petty. I want all my money's worth. I don't care if it's $20. That's a lot of money to me. You want which palette, Molly? Oh, this one? Oh, girl. So, Kim, how do you feel about this? <laughs> okay, Coco. I'm not playing. I sure did email them. I sent screenshots of confirmation emails and everything. Like, excuse me. Excuse me. 
I'm petty over my twenty dollars. Who? I ain't gonna let it go. Watch them drop me from the box. <laughs> Finding you won't get no boxes. All right, shit. Sure. I see how y'all trying to do with me. I see how y'all trying to do with me. You love it, Cam? I knew you would. I love it too, like, girl. I need this in my life always and forever. I love it so much. I'm also using this for my inner eye highlight. Coming back in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm going to get my box. Listen, I don't play about stuff like that. Excuse me. Exactly. I'm not just not handing out 20s. If the box is $20 and I pay for two boxes, I should expect two boxes. I don't know who they think they playing with. Don't play with my money, Smokey. You playing with my money. Okay, I'm starting to feel cute. Okay, I'm going to wear... Um, <laughs> I'm going to do a little a more in beauty on the lips. I'm going to line my lips with brownie. Oh, this is the um, Sephora Pro Face Palette. This is the deep one, and you get blushes in here. You get highlighters, contour, bronzer, everything. Blush. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I got this be 50% off. It was originally $60, and I got it for $30. Thank you, Stacy. Five dollars. Yeah, don't play with me. <laughs> don't play with me. Uh-uh. That could have filled up my gas tank. Y'all know I got a little Toyota. That's gas money. Oops, excuse me. I need to sharpen this a little bit more. They haven't responded back to my email. It's split. When it's a week, I do a follow-up. So I'm going to give them a few more days. <laughs> give them a few more days. Yes, Tiffany. It's such a nice palette. And, of course, you know, you can use all the shades as eyeshadows. Since you're a lighter skin tone, you could probably get away with a medium one, but... I love the shades in the deep one so much better. But the contour and bronzer shades might be better for you in the medium palette. My lips are so dry, I need a gloss. You like deep shades too? You, I like deep shades too. I just use a lighter hand. Okay. Coco. They're going to fix it. Okay, listen. <laughs> listen. I don't play. I don't play about stuff like that. I don't play about stuff like that. I really, really don't. Y'all, look at all this Amorian Beauty I got in here.
Can y'all tell I like a more in beauty or what? <laughs> So I'm taking a more in beauty French toast on the lips. So cute. Now, what I want to know is if you makeup expert could guide somebody over Zoom or Skype how to beat their face. Yeah, absolutely. Like a little one on one sesh. I can do that. This is so pigmented. Oh yeah, y'all have to put some gloss on top of this. You ain't gonna tell me nothing. Who are you talking to? Ma'am, please. Listen, there ain't nothing to support when it's when it's popping like this. Ooh, French toes. Deanna, hello. Happy Sunday. Cheers to you. What are you doing, girl? Oh, I was supposed to ask another question. My bad, y'all. What's the best song to listen to during sex? I don't listen to music while I have sex. <laughs> he don't be giving me time to like get the phone and make it romantic. Tiff, no charge. Talking about. No charge, honey. Just I charge you your company and your your awesome personality. That's what I'm charging you. Lord, what I have on my lip? Oh, this um, this pad. I charge you entertaining company. That's the charge. <laughs> Camerico loves old nineties R and B cheesy. Really, the sound of those cheeks clapping. I'm dead. <laughs> Coco. I used to listen to music. There's actually on playlists, um, I mean, on Spotify, there's a playlist called Sex Music. And that's what I used to use when I, I, when I was giving time. So I'm going to go on top of this with the lip sparkle called Lavish Life. Oh, yes, ma'am. Hold on. Focus on me. There we go. Oh, I can't wait to use this. Look at this, y'all. Look at the glitter in there. I know you see it. Uh, <laughs> shit. Ooh. Ooh, yes. 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 Oh, oh. Hey, period. Danny, your makeup looks good, but yes, I'm trying to have makeup instruction party with the pros <laughs> on a live. Yes. I need to check my mail. My French toes might be here. Kim, check the mail, honey. <laughs> Listen, the sound effects are real. That's just how I be feeling when I be put on makeup and it's just like, oh, because I thought somebody with an unbeat face had said something. Oh. Ooh, okay. Let me use this Makeup Revolution Hydrate and Fix Spray. Thank you. This is French Toast and Lavish Life. 
with brownie lip liner. A more in getting us all the way together, honey. All the way. All right, y'all, I guess I'll post a look. I guess I'll post this video. It'll be up tomorrow. Deanna Stacy been in the kitchen all day, making us mad and hungry. Are you usually on the top or the bottom? The bottom. <laughs> Listen, my knees be popping too much. It's very unsexy. I'll do. I'll get up there for a minute or two, but I'm posting it. I'm posting it. Um. I have not had good experiences with setting spray. Does it work on oily skin? Um, I would not recommend that one for oily skin. The ones that I like, don't y'all, I haven't tried it, but I believe y'all gave high praises to the Morphe matte one. I like the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. For matte, I like the Kat, Van, the Kat Von D, well, it's now KVD Beauty, but I like the KVD Beauty Locket Setting Spray. And then I also like this one by NYX. Um, this NYX Finny Matte Photo Focus. I've been liking that one. Yeah, my knees be popping, bruh. <laughs> I can't. Kim said, top me, please. Okay. Kim said, she in charge, honey. Kim said, she is in charge. I'm on the side, top, bottom. Oh, I like it from the side, too. I love me some sideways. My uterus is very tilted, and the sideways is just perfect. I don't mind getting on top. It's just, you know. Yes, Lee, I'm feeling the look now that I've done the whole face. I will post the video. I will post it. <laughs> I'm about to do my makeup entirely. LQ inspired me. Yes, ma'am. Beat that face. Brown smoky eye, little wannabe halo. I gotta practice more of my halos. I'm gonna try to do another one sometime this week. I'm just oh, they be giving me anxiety, which is so stupid because I used to be really good at them and I don't know what happened. No, I wasn't gonna post it, Deanna. I wasn't really feeling it. <laughs> um, love NYC and Kat Von D. KVD Foundation. Thanks, I'll try those. It depends on my mood. Yeah. When the henny hits the system. <laughs> Listen, if I'm drunk, I'm right. I'm, 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 I won't even say what I'm about to say, but I'm aggressive. If I'm drunk, I'm a little aggressive. Nick Studio Fix. I haven't tried that one. So, okay, sideways all day. I love me some sideways. I, that's, my, oh, that's my fave. And then we actually just discovered a new favorite that we like together, which is I like that we both like it a lot because, you know, we found a new position that we really like. I have oily skin, too, but we can still use setting spray. If don't, I'll be oily and shiny. Yeah, there's the yeah, they have mattifying setting sprays and, you know, for all skin types. My bad, y'all. Y'all know I got to do the little thing. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling cute now. They said upside down if you're nasty, upside down. Oh, the new position. It's actually very easy. It's just, y'all, okay, because Mike is so tall and I'm a little shorty. He's 6'3 and I'm 5'2. So usually we do when we try to do doggy style, it's like not really working for us. So I just learned to put my whole body up on the bed instead of just my legs like hanging off. If I put my whole body up, bend it over that way, I'm at an angle that's real cute. 
it's real deep up in there. And I really, really have been liking that lately. And he liked that one too. So we found one that's like real cute. Doggy, but your whole body is up on the bed like that. Because I was trying to do it the other way with half my body off the bed. And y'all, it was a mess. It's a cute position. Yes, he's 6'3", and I'm 5'2", girl. So we got to figure out stuff to do for us. <laughs> and that has worked. Because our bed has a little bit of height to it, too. So. All right, y'all. Cool. Yeah, face down, ass up. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Because before the the regular doggy was a little bit painful for me. I wasn't really enjoying it. But this way is elevated. I'm up there. I'm down here. Like, you know, y'all know. So it's cool. I still got 15 minutes to spare. Now that's how you do a live. I'm trying to tell you. I know a lot of people are so, uh, shocked by how tall he is. I think it's because y'all always see him sitting down, so y'all never saw us stand next to each other. Yeah, he's over a foot taller than me. <laughs> oh, let me keep these in my purse. I love me a tall man, all right? I love to feel like a little, like a little tiny person. <laughs> I think we talked about this before. Um, and I told y'all that uh, the tallest guy I dated was 6'7". He was a basketball coach. But he was a jerk. And then my one boyfriend was 6'4". And then I dated a couple of shorties in there. But no, I like a tall guy. It just, it just does something to me. Something about those like tall limbs. Cause it's just so, I can't fathom having tall limbs. It's very attractive to me. <laughs> like what y'all doing up there? What are y'all doing up there with your tall limbs? Right Coco? Has to be. Tallest I dated was 6'5". Yeah, my tallest was 6'7". I'm still trying to find out what the Mississippi buck is. A position? Girl, you know I'm finna Google. It sounds aggressive. Buck. Oh, Tiffany, the sex with the six six seven dude was trash. It was trash, girl. And I'm not just saying that because he did me dirty. I'm just saying that for real. We had trouble on his end, not me. I was ready. It sounds very aggressive. Y'all, they pulled up a bunch of deer. Hold on. <laughs> they pulled up deer. That's not the kind of sex I'm trying to have. Okay, Urban Dictionary. It's called the buck. A sexual position in which the woman lays flat on her back with her legs dis extended at a 90 degree angle from her torso with her ankles positioned somewhere near her lover's ear or locked around his neck. Oh, that's what that's called? Coco, he didn't do nothing. And that was the problem. He couldn't stay hard. He couldn't really, he wasn't really like doing nothing, like just laying there like, hello, we supposed to be in this together. Get your tall ass out of my face. But that's what the Mississippi buck is. I didn't know that's what that was called. Exactly, Kim. He It was trash, girl. Like, you can't just depend on your tallness. You still got to work a little bit. Just because you tall don't mean nothing. You know, I know how to work that thing. Mississippi, I didn't know that's what that was called. 
I like that position. Why is it called that? <laughs> Okay, next question. Have you ever cheated? No, I have not. I'm not a cheater. I don't do that, and I don't like it. I have never cheated. It is a true shame, Coco, ain't it? Because, you know, when girls get with a tall man, like, oh, my God, he's so tall, he's so strong, da, 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 and then you get down there, you be like, is this it? This all we going to do? Yeah, the name doesn't fit the position. I thought it would be something like some sort of back, some sort of doggy, especially like you getting bucked from behind or something. That doesn't sound like what that is. Very strange. Okay, I don't have time to cheat. I'm just leaving. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. It's perfectly said. Oh, here goes Stacy. Here goes Stacy. Get a pillow with your legs propped up on the wall to get your legs up while your man holds them up, spread your legs, and he bends down his... Stacy! Stacy! Stacy, we are going to do a special edition sexual makeup and mimosas with you. Honey, again, I'm going to be emailing you. You be having too many tips, and you just be throwing them out all, like, nonchalant and very, like, casually. And I'm like, Stacy. Exactly. No time for cheating. Oh, Lisa, said emotionally. Ooh. So do y'all think emotional or physical cheating is worse? I actually think emotional cheating is worse. It's like, oh, y'all in each other's hearts and minds. But either way, you cheat on me either way. I'm leaving regardless. OK, right. Tiffany said I need to exercise first. <laughs> right. I'm, you know what? No, I'm saving this live. Well, of course, the live is going to be saved, but I got to remember that note. We got to take notes in the bedroom. Okay, so Stacy said, put the leg here, put the pillow here. My body goes here, and then you come in here. Emotionally is worse. <laughs> Kim said, Chris walked in the room as soon as you asked that question. Absolutely not. Yeah, emotional cheating is like, oh, so y'all like really like connecting on a, on a mental and emotional spiritual level? The fuck? No, ma'am. Either way, I'm leaving, though, for real. For real. Yeah, it's personal. Yeah, y'all. It's so funny, all the men always walk into the room and be like, what the hell are y'all talking about? We just chitting, chatting. Little, little fun talk. Oh, we already talked about anal. I'm trying to find some new questions. Okay, here we go. I found some new questions. Oh, these are like questions for you to ask your partner. I'm just, okay, well, I'm trying to rephrase it. When was the last time you had a dirty sex dream and what was it about? Uh, I don't know if I've had a sex dream in a while. It's never really like anything that's like um, I can really remember. But I can remember being like feeling turned on like in my sleep. And I've had orgasms in my sleep before. Dead serious. What do they call that for boys? Wet dream. What's a female wet dream? <laughs> Tiff said, uh, there is never any excuse to cheat. Just be honest about your feelings and needs and leave if you're unfulfilled. A hundred percent. There's just something about like, <sighs> something behind people that cheat while they're still in relationships is just very, you clearly don't want to be with this person. So, but you're still doing it. Wet draws. <laughs> Stacey said, I'm a big girl, but I'm flexible for the cause. Yes, ma'am. Tiff said, but I was in another country, so that was my excuse. Young and dumb. Ooh. 
Wet draws. Yeah, I had a wet draw. I've had wet draws dreams. I don't have anal sex. There was a slip one time and I was ready to fight. <laughs> I've done anal one time. It's just not for me. And I already told y'all about that. The person that I did it with wasn't very, he wasn't really packing. So it was actually quite enjoyable, but I'm not doing that right now in my current situation. No. It's too much girth. It, it's, a, it's enjoyable with a small to below average penis. I'm going to put it like that. Or average, I guess you would say. Ga games. Yeah, I don't have like sex dreams to where I can remember them. Not in a very long time. The only time I can remember, but it was like years ago and it was like um, sex dreams about people like at work. And it was just awkward because you have to go to work and look at them and be like, ew, like I thought we had sex in my dream. And now I don't want to look back. Now I can't look at you the same. It ain't going, it ain't going nowhere near. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. I know my limits. Um, I think we kind of already talked about this, but what's your favorite position? Mine is the one I just told y'all about, the new one we found, and then sideways sex. I love you some sideways sex. <laughs> yeah, you got to know what your body can take and what you can't. I'm not going to get nobody's expectations up. We're not doing that. Not in this relationship. Missionary, Coco. You know what? Missionary is cool. I do like it too. It's not my favorite though, but I like it. Mine is the new. Mine is the new and improved doggy style, and then some sideways. Sideways for me. Okay, look at everybody. Yes, yeah, I think. It, do y'all have? Okay, this might be unrelated, but I think it's related. Do y'all have tilted uterus? I feel like sideways is really good for girls with tilted. Yvonne is on an extreme tilt. So for some reason, the sideways just is super comfortable for me. Reverse cowgirl is cool again, my knees. But I do like it. But I just can't, like, when my knees be clicking, I'm so in my head and I just can't enjoy it. I can keep hearing my knees clicking. I don't know if he can hear it, but I'm like, you don't hear my knees, like, popping like that? The new and improved doggy is my whole body up on the bed as opposed to just half of my body put my whole body on the bed like I said because he's so tall it just works out really nicely I'm in a really nice spot just go right on in there <laughs> sideways if I'm lazy tired because I can throw it back thank you throw it back pretty easily but my all-time fave is on top look at y'all Kim and um Tiff yeah, it's just my knees be popping too much. I'm just so in my head about it. I can't like take myself seriously. So it's like if I'm not really into it and I'm laughing too much, I feel like it's like this ain't working, bruh. <laughs> my knees won't let me be great. It doesn't bother me, but because it doesn't hurt, it's just I told y'all before I crack my bones a lot. So my 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 body pop it. Okay, literally. Are y'all quiet, moaner, or are y'all loud? I'm somewhere in between. I'm definitely not quiet. And depending on how much I've had to drink depends on my loudness. I'm not quiet though. Not no. I, I make some sort of noises. So are y'all quiet or are y'all loud? Yeah, I'm in between for sure. The more I've had to drink, the louder I am. <laughs> Look at everybody, I'm not quiet. <laughs> All right, now we got five minutes. I'm so proud of myself. Medium noise, okay? Saying Coco. I'm at a medium noise level. Deanna said loud for me is progression in sound. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much the same way. But let me tell you, if I'm drunk, it's loud. Do you prefer to give or receive? Um, receive. <laughs> I like.
like to give though. It's cool. I'm not finishing up here and lie and say I love it. It's fine. I'll do it. Sometimes I'm definitely more into it than other times, but I I, I want to receive. Give it to me. But I, I don't mind giving. It's just, you know, I'm just going to keep it all the way real. Oh, Stacey said in between depends if it's oral. Call me Sasha Fierce. That's a damn. Yeah, receive no shyness about that. Both, both. I like a blend. Give. Okay, Dave. Uh-uh. Let me take a sip. Yeah, same, Deanna. Receive. I'm a giver, but I would prefer to receive. I mean, come on. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Coco said, both of them. Um, have you ever slept with someone you work with? Yes, and that is a little y'all talk about regrets. <laughs> Talking about somebody that didn't deserve the cat. I was young and dumb, but yes, I've had sex with somebody I work with, and I shouldn't have done that. He receives by giving to me. I know that's right. I know that's right. Tiffany said, when I give him a full-on porn star, I know that's right. <laughs> Coco said, absolutely, and we dated for two years. Yes, and that is my husband. I know that's right. No, yes, and I regret it. Me too, Silky, I regret it. Not because of, like, he was a bad person or anything. He was a really nice person, but I just feel like I was in a not very healthy mental space, and I was just loving the attention he was giving me and but thinking back on it i shouldn't have done that i did sleep with a co co-worker but i did not regret it yeah i regretted it i wish him well i hope he's doing okay but he didn't he didn't deserve it <laughs> Coco said deanna you married your co-worker Lever Crowns, yes, dated for six months and dumped him. I did, but after they transferred to a different state. Luckily, the guy I did it with at work, he ended up leaving the company, so it wasn't like a big deal or anything. It's just for me personally, like, I shouldn't have done it. That boy pulled my ponytail in the stock room and it was on it. Yes. Yes, we've all had those young and dumb moments. That definitely was a young and dumb moment for me. And I don't want to say he took advantage of me because he was much older than me. I want to say I was like around like, I was in my mid to early 20s and he was like in his late 40s. So I'm like, I don't know. I, I knew what I was doing. So I'm not going to say he took advantage of me at all, but I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. Tiffany said he pulled that ponytail. Okay, so here, tell me about the ponytail pulling. Did you know he was going to pull your ponytail? Was y'all like flirting? Or were you just like randomly in the stock room and he just did a boop? What happened? Or should we talk about this on your live? Maybe we should save this for your live. Are you talking sexy on your live? If not, spill the tea here. All right, I'm going to be right back. I have to go pee, waiting for Tiffany to answer a question. Then we're going to wrap this live up. BRB, BRB. Don't leave me. Don't leave me.
I mean, I mean to be so aggressive with the door. Okay, what's going on? Okay, I'll ask. We asked Tiffany about. I wanted the um, <laughs> the tea on the po ponytail. I will tell y'all here. I have other stories for my life. Okay, K K K. <laughs> Did you have that super bond on like Candace? Um, Deanna, girl. New Potomac tonight, y'all. Podcast will be up in the morning. Okay, so I was walking into the stock room to grab something for a customer, and he followed me in there. He pulled my ponytail and then pulled me to him. Oh, that is sexy. That is sexy. So you had the customer waiting while you got your freak on. <laughs> Not the customer waiting. <laughs> Where's my product? <laughs> y'all crazy. That customer was like, can I get my item? <laughs> I don't like wasting time, so I grabbed it to make sure he... Oh, I'd rather to make sure he was working with something. Oh my gosh. You were deep in those boxers. Okay. <laughs> Amen for the okay for the quick grab and check. They're asking, what was he working with? Was it thick? She said, yes, I don't have time to waste. Okay, give us the deets on the package, honey. What was in the package? The customer didn't have to wait. I was like, meet me after work. Oh, my God. That is like, I like that. I like the sound of all of that. Little aggression. Mm. Okay. All right, y'all. We are wrapping up this live. Oh, real quickly before I do it in the live, I want to show y'all what Mike got me for my birthday. He got me this um, Adventure Challenge Couples Edition. I'm going to show, I show this in my vlog too, but I'm going to show y'all here since we just talked. So what it is, is this book for couples. I'm saying this for the couples here, the ladies, if y'all want to get something for your man, y'all can get this, this book, you open it up. And basically it's like, it gives you ideas and things to do for your relationship. So you put up, first of all, you put a picture of your experience, but you scratch it off. And it tells you what you're going to be doing. It shows you a price point. Like, for example, this one is 5 to $15. Um, you can do it any time of the day. And it takes about two to three hours to do. So you scratch it off. And it gives you ideas for, like, dates and things like this. And then if you put pictures in here to show um, what you did to show proof of your dates. Uh, this one is 30 to $60. You do this before 9 p.m. And it takes two to three hours to do. So very cute very nice idea this is perfect for us because we are state we are homebody so this is something to do to like get us out of the house and you know have fun in our relationship and then we always have this book to look back on because we can you put pictures in here to show what you do i'm very excited to just like scratch these off and see what they have us do it's called the adventure challenge for couples if anybody wants to get this for your significant other it's a really good gift idea it was so cute. <laughs> so I'm very excited about that. So, yeah, he's sweet. I could never think of anything like that, y'all. I'm so terrible at buying gifts for people. I, I, I just want to, oh, she said it was long and thick. Hold on. <laughs> I got distracted. <laughs> Yeah, that's super cute. I'm I'm so terrible at buying gifts. I'm just like the auntie that like just give everybody money. I'm not like a gift person. Yeah, very nice. This is gonna give us something to do, like you know, because we don't go out anywhere and we don't really do anything. So that's gonna be giving us ideas. And for y'all YouTube creators, vlog ideas. I'm gonna be vlogging all of these dates and stuff, and they're gonna be up on my channel. Look at Deja. She said, I like that. I want a man now. <laughs> yeah, Deja was here when I opened it. It was so sweet. I was a little drunk, but, you know, I'm still going to post it on the vlog. It'll be on the vlog on Wednesday, my birthday vlog. All right, y'all. I hope everybody has a wonderful Sunday. Deliver the package. <laughs> Triumphative ma'am. Now that you've said it here, we will be looking out for lives from you. 
I know Coco, I'm super excited too. I can't imagine like what kind of gifts or ideas they have in here because it doesn't like, you don't put in like where you live or anything. So I'm very interested to see. And then towards the back, you just have like, you can make a picture collage where you put all the pictures. It's really cute. Y'all, that's a really good idea. Oh, they said y'all broke. <laughs> They said you broke, and then you have one to ten dollar ideas. They got one that isn't here for free. Oh, they says, Oh, this one says cheap ass. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> they have ones in here for broken, cheap people, too, y'all. That's right up my alley. I love it. Yes, y'all. Thank everybody. Thank y'all so much for joining me. It was a wonderful live, girl. I'm dead, too. I didn't even read that until just now. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Good gift ideas for your mans, y'all. Your mans or your significant others, your partner, whoever you are with. Thank y'all so much for joining me. I will see y'all in two Sundays. Y'all know the deal. Come back on here and talk sex stuff with me. Right. Right, Tiff. It's a really good idea, though. I don't know where he found that, but it's very sweet. I was impressed. Bye, y'all. Have a good weekend. Cheers. Let me check this to the head. B, we leaving, sis. That chug was for you then. <laughs> <clears throat> Bye, y'all. B, I'm looking forward to your Housewives recap tonight. This episode should be a juicy one. I think I cut my ear. Yes. Bye, y'all. Happy Sunday. Deja, I'm on my way to your house, sis.